Hey everybody, Andrew here. Today, seeing that it's a wet, miserable day, I thought I'd give you a bit of a glimpse into a typical day in the life of a guitar teacher in rural Queensland. <laughs> it's miserable. It's like crazy rain right now. This is just nuts. But this is what Toowoomba was like when I first moved here when I was 19, so fun of games. After the regular human activities such as waking up, showering and consuming sustenance, my morning typically begins with preparation. Organising the day's lessons, transcribing songs, writing charts, and sometimes even recording backing tracks. Once that's all done, it's normally time to pack a guitar or two, generally my trusty J45 or my old telly, throw a few essentials in my bag, and head out the door. I typically have a 10 to 15 minute drive in which I can listen to some tunes, get centred, and prepare myself for the onslaught that is teaching school kids guitar. First thing we need is a good cup of coffee. Hey, can I please grab a tall cappuccino, thanks? Yep. Any sugar texture shop? Um, no, that's all today, thanks, mate. Coffee, finally. You reckon that's more to me? Highly doubt it. But anyway, it's good coffee. When I arrive at school, it's time to get unpacked, tune up my guitar, and get ready for my first victim, I mean student. Now, a small piece of advice for anyone wanting to pursue a career as a private instrumental teacher. Be prepared to wait. To keep waiting, and when you think you've waited long enough, to wait some more. Inevitably though, students start arriving and the learning begins. Now, the day is generally pretty full on, with 30 minute lessons running back to back for the next few hours. And while learning guitar is a serious business, we always have a lot of room for some fun. Okay, first school done, better get cracking. I've only got half an hour to get to the next school. Now after a few more hours of back-to-back -back lessons and the obligatory waiting, it's time to head home. And the most important thing to do when you get home from teaching is feed the dog. That. Okay, back home at my studio after school, I typically get through about four to five students in the afternoon. Now, while I'm waiting for them to start turning up, I have a little bit of spare time to do a bit more transcribing, catch up on some video editing, or even a little bit of practice. Oh, and you guessed it, I get to do some more waiting. And also, aside from helping students with their musical dilemmas, I sometimes get to wear the hat of a guitar tech helping them fix a few of their guitar problems and help them out with a bit of maintenance. Well, that's one day in my life as a guitar teacher. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, like, leave me a comment, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers. Man, I think I need a coffee and something to eat. Maybe go to bed and start again tomorrow. Night.